way I play for five minutes and immediately I feel fine. My, you know, if I was like coughing or whatever, my cough is gone, my energy is up. It's all because of the people, you know, you get so much energy. Um, I started up outside on the street and then when winter came, that was the first time that I ventured down into the subway. And when I discovered the acoustics here, I never wanted to go back up. It's really nice sharing music with people, you know, with whoever, you know, whoever happens to pass by and whoever is interested. It's a kind of spiritual experience, you know. The old tradition of learning to play the saw is that you figure it out on your own. Basically, you see somebody else performing, then you go home, you pick up a saw, any saw, like, you know, from the hardware store, and you imitate what you've seen the person do, and you try to figure it out. Now, the old tradition is that if you figure it out, it means you're meant to be playing a saw. If you can't figure it out, it's not for you. Now, today, of course, you know, a lot of people just go to a teacher, and, you know, they just learn how to play, just like a regular instrument, but that's the old tradition. And I learned according to the old tradition. I was in Austria with my parents, and we went to a show for tourists. And in it, there was a guy playing the saw, and that was the first time that I've ever seen such a thing. And I was just mesmerized, and I just felt this fire inside of me, like, I have to learn to play this, this instrument, it is so cool. And I went backstage, and I asked the gentleman if he would teach me, and he said, no. And of course, I said, I'll pay you, tell me how much you want for a lesson. No. But he did say, you know, uh, he said, you don't need a teacher. Go home, pick up a saw, and imitate me, what you see me do, and you'll figure it out. And he also told me that the more expensive a saw is, the better sound it would have. And um, so today I'm actually very grateful to this gentleman, and I wish I could find him. I don't know who he was, you know, but I wish I could find him to thank him. Because he could have said, oh yeah, just pay me, you know, $100 and I'll teach you. But the fact that he didn't, you know, thanks to him, today I can say that I did it all on my own. So I'm really grateful to him, actually. When you're on stage, you're up in the lights and the people are down there in the dark and you don't really see them, you don't see their faces and it feels kind of lonely. Whereas here in the subway, the people are right next to you. You see their faces, you see the transformation on their faces as they're walking by you and they're, they're hearing your sound. It's all because of the people, you know, you get so much energy here. It's like, you know, you, the more you give, the more you get back. I don't, I don't think I'll ever stop. I mean, even if I get to be a million.